What is up everybody, Robbie Dagger reporting for duty, and on this one we're going to be talking just about how to evolve suits up to S3. So, let's get right into it, let's jump into the hangar, this is where, we'll, this is where we will be doing all of our work. So, basically all you really need to do to get a suit up to S3 is enhance the crap out of it and then keep evolving it. So let me show you how to enhance and then uh, we'll do some evolution together as well. So basically, you're going to want two suits the same grade. And you're going to want them both at their highest levels. And the other thing you want to watch for is you want to make sure that these little icons are matching up. So it's, you want it to be two support suits, um, both max level, same type. So let's, let, let me show you what's going on here. We're going to level up a Hera. But to do that, we've got to level up this Gefjon Empress support. It's level 1 right now. So, to do this, the best way, when you see this EXP up um, little icon flashing, that means you're getting more experience for fusing the right type of uh, basically fodder. So, we're using support fodder for our support units, so we're getting extra XP from it. And I would recommend doing it that way. It'll save you a lot of... Uh, basically grinding so boom instantly to level 20 all right and then it's gonna let us evolve so we're gonna want to evolve we were talking about evolving our Hera so let's it should automatically find that that suit for you this is where I had a lot of confusion when I first started playing this game because I didn't know how this worked but basically you just need same type suit and it even tells you down here too um, well, no, no, not really. Okay, so same type suit, A's, two A's, um, and then these mats will make our S. And if you don't know where to get these materials, you can get these from farming the temples, and then when you're done farming the temples, uh, you can auto-explore the temples uh, for basically free, and uh, it will give you these evolved materials, so make sure you're up in there doing that. So, as you can see... Hit the evolution button, and then make sure you're watching the evolution cost button, because these evolutions get a bit expensive. So there we go. It's going to fuse these together, and it's going to make us an S-Class Hera. And this will be my first S-Class Hera. Amazing. And Hera in this game is actually a good suit to leave at C-Grade, so if you do get a Hera or two... You might want to keep two of them at C grade because they do have a really nice um, ability that they'd use that uh, is very helpful in some of the later content in the game. So I would recommend keeping the Hera. Actually, keep you'll want to keep uh, two Heras at C grade, which I do not have right now, but that's okay. So yeah, there we go. And then. Um, basically for the higher level evolutions like as you can see my Nimu is ready to be evolved but I'm just I don't have the money so as soon as I make this much money we'll be evolved in this suit so you can even you can make up to s3s guys it just takes a while it takes a lot of grinding as you can see I've already got these two s2 units up to level 30 and they're both s2 so we'll be able to make an s3 as soon as we get the cash so I hope this video is helpful for you guys Hope it clears up any questions you might have. If you do have any more questions, just leave them down below in the comments. Best of luck to you. If this video helped you out, do do appreciate you being here. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Like this video. Uh, share this video if it helped you out. Appreciate the support. We'll be doing some more Master of Eternity videos. So hang tight. And I'll catch you out in space.